throughout the history of this expansive and amazing film, book, and literature series, Star Wars. There have been a variety, constellation, and plethora of games that have arisen in the need of entertainment for Star Wars fans, when a vacancy of movies have dispersed. And all the TV shows seem to have lost their touch. Star Wars games have always rescued Star Wars fans in the nick of time, returning them to the greatest point, in my opinion, in all of Star Wars. Games such as The Old Republic, Battlefront 2, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and many, many others have truly left their mark and inlaid their imprint on the Star Wars galaxy, making themselves legends in the field of gaming itself. With the upcoming release of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Survivor and the prior release in 2019 of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I thought that this video needed to be covered. In my opinion, there was no bigger disappointment in all of Star Wars, bigger than possibly even Supreme Leader Snoke dying and ending up just being Emperor Palpatine, than the cancellation of the Battlefront 4 game. If you were around in 2008, and were studying the Star Wars game lore like I was, you would unquestionably be aware of the fact that there was a Battlefront 4 and Battlefront 3 on the cusp of releasing. However, in the last possible moment, when the game was virtually entirely complete, the developers lost the rights to release the game. However, Concept Art a few years ago revealed their plans for Battlefront 4, exploring alternate timelines between the heroes, villains, and other deities and beings within the Star Wars galaxy. Join us now as we delve into the ancient rich history of the galaxy long uncovered in a veil of mystery, and journey as we discover what would Emperor Vader look like in this new game. As we can clearly visualise here, we can see Anakin Skywalker in all his glory. However, he is without his Darth Vader mask. However, he is unmistakably a Dark Lord of the Sith. We can see the shoulder plates on Anakin's armour that were reminiscent of his Darth Vader armour. We can see the clothing that Darth Vader would later be condemned to wear in his harsh environment that was his suit, as well as his gloves. One of his hands being robotic, shrouding them in mystery. We can see a cape, adorned with similar markings that the Count of Sereno Dooku had worn just what, nearly a year prior at his death in 19 BBY. We can see Anakin's belt, hanging his lightsaber, which he still retains from his Jedi training, and tutelage under the Jedi Order. I personally believe that this has been turned a bloody crimson colour, and Anakin has only just begun his wild journey into the depths of the dark side. Going down further, we can see that Anakin has gained the Durasteel plates mixed with obsidian, that Darth Vader would later gain copying hot boots and an underline of silk that is similar to his Darth Vader suit. This is what Emperor Vader would like. One important detail to note is the scowl that it tightens in his face and the blazing Sith eyes that are common, a blazing and piercing yellow tone. We can see the developers thought this as a mix of the costume between Anakin's Jedi uniform and the Darth Vader outfit but omitting the cybernetic parks Darth Vader would one day use. While we've just taken a brief explanation and delved into Darth Vader, if he had not been crippled on Mustafar, if he had somehow managed the Revenge of the Sith game adaptation alternate timeline clearly presents, had he managed to impale Obi-Wan or kill him of some kind and later take over the Empire by slaughtering his master Darth Sidious, and continuing the rule of one Sith, the rule of one would be established by Vader. Now, we have personally my favourite concept art of the entirety of it. We can see that this is Darth Vader, Emperor Vader. If Emperor Vader had have taken over, let's say if Palpatine had been killed by Yoda, if Palpatine had have been killed by Yoda in the Senate chambers, then Darth Vader would inadvertently inherit the Empire. We can see that Darth Vader's helmet and cybernetics he retains from his old attire. Extra shoulder pads for protection. Darth Vader's suit would be made to the highest degree possible, making it with all the materials on hand the Empire, with now complete galactic domination had to offer. 
He seemed to have had upgraded life support harness with digital readout of his current status, an imperial tunic, digital readouts of his current status, a regal red lining symbolising royalty, and longer robes as befitting of an emperor, the same robes that Palpatine would one day wear. As I quote, even though Obi-Wan Kenobi may look like he's replaced Vader, that's not the case. Vader is still very much in the darkness, but his story takes a bit of a different path. Instead of threatening Padme and Mustafa and battling with Obi-Wan, resulting in the maiming and burning of his body and loss of several limbs, Anakin Skywalker still has his full unharmed body. However, it appears at some point he still gets into some kind of battle that turns him into the more traditional Darth Vader we all know from the movies. There are a few different versions of Vader where he has become the Emperor. In the piece above, you can see he has an upgraded breathing apparatus with digital readouts and some changes in the usual garb. Apparently, the confrontation with Padme in Revenge of the Sith would have switched to Naboo, and Anakin would have succeeded in killing her. We're not exactly how sure Luke and Leia would still get born after that, but apparently, according to the game timeline, they do, and may have grown up learning the ways of the dark side and the Sith. Well, my friends, what did you think about this video? Do you think Emperor Vader would be akin to the concept art that they presented? Share your thoughts down in the comments below. Would you like me to commence with this series? That can only be decided by you. Subscribe to the channel, strike it down, fill your destiny, and ascend to the rank of master. It is your destiny. Goodbye, my friends, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.